The boys are back in town. Well, almost. When can you watch season 3? Who's going to be in it? What exactly is Stumpfront? Check it all out and so much more right here. Amazon Prime announced the release date of Season 3 via a fictional news broadcast from Vought News Network's 7 on 7 with Cameron Coleman. Vought International is a shady multi-billion dollar conglomerate that oversees the 7. The online short includes a contentious and brief interview between Coleman and Huey, now a senior analyst for the Federal Bureau of Superhuman Affairs. The search is also on for two new members to join the 7 via a reality series hosted by Starlight. The phone newscast concludes with a close-up of Homelander, who appears to be holding his public persona together with a very thin thread, before revealing the season's June 3rd debut date. Deadline also reported that season 3 of The Boys will return with a three-episode premiere on Friday, June 3rd. New episodes will air every subsequent Friday and wrap up on July 8th. With that in mind, it looks like it's going to be an exciting summer. The teaser trailer for The Boys Season 3 offered up plenty of glimpses of the action to come, without giving much of the story away. The trailer shows Starlight and Homelander in the midst of a promo shoot, and it's obvious that Homelander has yet to recover from the events of Season 2. We see Billy Butcher getting his first taste of superpowers, we get a glimpse of what looks like the in-world reality show American Hero, and most importantly, we get a few shots of Jensen Ackles as Soldier Boy in action. Mostly, the teaser gives a vibe of tension and mayhem, which is pretty much on brand for the boys, but look closer and there are actually a ton of clues of what's to come in the season. According to Deadline, the main cast is definitely returning for Season 3. Homelander, Billy Butcher, Huey, and all the rest of them will be back for even more mayhem. And yes, it looks like Black Noir wakes up from his candy-induced coma. Was that an almond joy? He has a tree nut allergy. A quick shot in the trailer confirms that Vought CEO Stan Edgar will return as well, but there are also some incredible newcomers to the cast this season. The most exciting new addition is Supernatural star Jensen Ackles as Soldier Boy, the original Homelander. The new players don't end there, however. In June 2021, Deadline reported that The Boys had added three new cast members in recurring roles. Sean Patrick Flannery portrays Gunpowder, Miles Gaston via Nueva is Supersonic, and Nick Wexler will play yet another new soup named Blue Hawk. Deadline has also confirmed that Francis Turner, Kristen Booth, and Jack Doolin are joining the series. Yet another soup addition is Laurie Holden as Crimson Countess, a parody of Marvel's Scarlet Witch. In short, there will be plenty of new faces in Season 3, and it'll definitely be intriguing to see this many soups on one screen. The boys were cleared of all charges and came out of hiding at the end of Season 2, with Huey taking a job under Victorian Newman, a congresswoman who's against Vought, yet is also a head-exploding soup herself. This likely means that Huey will distance himself from the boys. It's clear he's joining the wrong team, as Newman isn't the picture-perfect person he believes her to be. It appears as though Huey is in grave danger, and it's not out of the question that his former associates will try to save him at some point. Showrunner Eric Kripke has hinted that things will go south for Huey during the upcoming third season. He told TV Guide, The thing about Huey is that he's not particularly good at the ultraviolence, but he's very competent and I think we wanted to show that off via Newman. He's very smart, he's a good investigator, he's amazing with technology, he has great ideas, but of course, it's all going to go to shit on him. The boys might be separated at first, but it's presumably only a matter of time before the titular group teams up once again. If you've been wondering how the upcoming third season of The Boys will kick off, Eric Kripke has dropped a major hint, revealing the title of the first episode, Payback. While this could be a reference to the events of the previous season, Payback is actually the name of a super team, one that was around before the Seven. In an interview with the Illuminati, Kripke was asked which new characters fans should look forward to seeing. He said, All of them. I mean, I think they all get amazing things to do. Season 3 is fun because it's not just about Soldier Boy, but it's about the team he was a part of, which is called Payback. To dig into the history of the world, not just the present, has been a lot of fun. I, I don't know what they're going to do with Soldier Boy because Soldier Boy, in the comics at least, was an older soup. I believe he was the first soup Vought ever injected with Compound V. We'll have to wait and see what goes down in the Season 3 opener, but the fact that the title of the episode and the name of Soldier Boy's team are both Payback is telling. Fans of The Boys have been wondering if the TV show would dare touch the infamous Herogasm miniseries ever since Amazon announced that the comic was getting an adaptation. We now know that it will, and it will go down during the sixth episode of Season 3. Kripke teased how crazy the Herogasm episode will be. 
Telling Entertainment Weekly, Herogasm, the dailies are bananas. I've been around the block a few times. I'm a seasoned producer. Every single day on those dailies, my jaw was on the floor. I just could not believe how insane those dailies were. For those not in the know, the Herogasm miniseries is about an annual party held by soups. Under the guise of combating an alien threat, they get together on a remote island for a weekend of shameless debauchery. I'll do it for you. For America. Although Stormfront often appeared invincible in Season 2, the fascist soup met her match when she came face to face with Homelander's son, Ryan, who displayed his powerful eye lasers for the first time. The result was the accidental death of Becca and Stormfront losing her limbs. If Stormfront hadn't been juiced up on Compound V, she probably wouldn't have survived the encounter. But according to showrunner Eric Kripke, she's still clinging to life somewhere, he told the rap. She's not dead, she's Stumpfront now. You know, no comment about whether she comes back, but she is forever going to be this kind of mutilated, stubby little Nazi, which we thought was the right punishment for somebody who so believed in iron purity. I did not see that coming from you. According to Aya Cash, the actor who brought the vile soup to life, Stormfront won't be involved in season 3, telling Metacritic, I'll be watching with the rest of you guys, unfortunately. So unfair. Given everything the Seven has been through, not to mention the corruption that tends to surround them, it would be a minor miracle for them to get back on the same page, let alone the same team. They will no doubt continue to act like buddies while the cameras are rolling, but it's just a charade. As we know, the Seven is held together by marketing alone at this point, and of course, the Deep was still to be reunited with his fellow soups at the end of Season 2. However, with the payback team set to take center stage, perhaps the Seven will at least come together to achieve a common goal. Homelander promised to leave Starlight, Butcher, and Ryan alone at the end of Season 2. The Seven and Vought pin everything on Stormfront, and most of the Seven go back to being superheroes at the end of Season 2. It seems as though it will be business as usual, at least for a little while. It's already been well established that Homelander has little to no regard for human life. He does, however, thrive on the love of the public. If someone comes in and takes his top spot, that someone can meet their demise, and Soldier Boy may find himself in Homelander's crosshairs. Soldier Boy may be better at charming the people, but he's not as powerful as Homelander. And then there's Congresswoman Newman. Her supercharged suit powers and tendency to explode important people's heads are still unknown to the characters, despite being revealed to the audience. Needless to say, there are plenty of threats entering Season 3, and it remains to be seen who will clash, let alone who will live or die. Though we don't exactly know how events will unfold, it's already been announced that Soldier Boy isn't going to be a nice guy. Kripke told Variety, I think anyone expecting Jensen to show up and be a good guy, they will be disappointed. He's one of these guys that's been around for decades of Vought history, and he was Homelander before Homelander, so he's from a different era. But he's got the ego and the ambition. It just comes across in a different way because he's from a different time. When it comes to violence, the boys isn't for the faint-hearted. Is that a human hand? Yes, it is. Come on. We gotta go. Did anyone expect the third chapter to be any different? In a chat with Collider, actor Laz Alonso made it clear that season 3 is going to be a total bloodbath, saying, I was talking to the head makeup artist and she's in charge of ordering the blood. That's one of her many jobs. She told me that all of season 2, when you talk about bulk, I don't think they used over a gallon of blood in season 2, believe it or not. Season 3 were already at 3.5 gallons of blood. So that should give you a little indication of where it's going. Given how Season 2 ended, Season 3 should be pretty wild, especially since there's going to be more soups than ever. If there's one thing we know about soups, it's that they can be unpredictable, cruel, and lethal. They can blow things up, including people, at any given moment. The more soups there are, the more messy events will be. In the comics, Huey takes Compound V in order to level the playing field, giving him super strength. A TV show appears to be giving that storyline to Butcher, as teaser trailers have shown him shooting lasers from his eyes. Butcher lost the love of his life not long after discovering that she was still alive and had given birth to Homelander's child. He's going to be gunning for Homelander like never before in Season 3, and the fact that he now has some of the same or at least very similar powers makes their inevitable showdown all the more exciting. It's honestly getting hard to hold all this excitement in. Speaking of Homelander, teaser trailers have also shown that he's still got a thing about milk, 
and is apparently now going straight to the source. We know that things are going to get tense as Soldier Boy and the Payback team enter the picture, but little snippets like this have shown that Season 3 will still include the dark humor the show is known for. Another example is A-Train's energy drink music video, which appears to be a direct parody of Kendall Jenner's much maligned Pepsi ad. The boys knows how to shock us, but it never fails to make us laugh either. In the end, there's probably only one way to describe The Boys Season 3. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.